Listen, we're very excited for our special guest. We're going to play some games, but yes. we have Fortune Feimster coming on. A uh, fantastic comedian Netflix special that's out right now. You can watch it. I give my stamp of approval. That's right. You heard it. Oh, wow. The freed stamp of approval. Freed stamp. I don't just give that thing out. Okay. Stamp. There's the stamp. There we go. Maybe we can get a graphic in there. <laughs> <laughs> we'll, so. be, we'll, be, we'll be right back. And we are back. Uh hilarious comic very special guest new special out right now called good fortune fortune feimster thank you for coming on oh thanks for having me this is awesome so pumped to have you we're gonna play some red flag deal breaker All right. we are. but first i mean i we have dating and relationship podcast yeah listen to your special last night so funny everyone who listens to this podcast is gonna love it oh i hope so and i love the um the story of you proposing to your wife yeah it was like nothing, nothing perfect. Went right. <laughs> <laughs> the story hopefully is perfect, but what happened was not perfect. It yeah, was everything the, that could go wrong. The story, kept going the, wrong. the storytelling was perfect. Yeah, yes, it was. It. Uh, I thought I was going to be so romantic and and really nail it, and just one thing after another kept going wrong. Well, you know, it was nice to hear about it. From um, I got married last year, so I got engaged a couple of years. Yeah, and it was nice to hear it from the other side because as the person getting proposed to i'm just like judging all the different like <laughs> yeah right <laughs> not yeah. Even at the other side of all the work that goes into it and the things you know yeah because you just have to look surprised like oh, exactly. i had no idea and then hopefully say yes. yes and then i got to yeah and and i don't think you know people had seen it from a female perspective of someone doing the asking as well and you know thinking about things like candles and you know, well, it still sounded like you thought through a, like a lot. I tried more than the average person. <laughs> I so. tried, but you do sort of think that it's going to be like what you see on, you know, Instagram or Pinterest, yes. all these beautiful photos. And this is like, here's the truth behind those photos. Was she surprised? I think she knew it was coming, but um, because I was just acting weird the okay. whole weekend. But uh, her I, nails done. Yeah, I think her nails are done, but okay. she th I think she thought I was going to propose at dinner, which would have horrified her because she did not want to be proposed to in public. <laughs> and the waiter kept asking several times, actually, if she wanted a dessert, not just once. I, just, so I had to streamline it for the story. But so she kept thinking, am I supposed to order dessert? Am I going to like choke on a ring? <laughs> and so she was starting to get a lot of anxiety. So. It didn't happen at dinner. And I agree with her. I think the public proposal is very anxiety ridden. Yeah, so. she did not want anybody looking at her in that moment. So she, Not at a baseball game no. on the Jumbotron. She didn't want to be on a kiss cam. Nothing. No. <laughs> <laughs> I, it's funny. You you pick out the things from the special. Like, that relate uh, that's what, to me. That yes. relate to you. Because <laughs> yeah. we both watched the special. Like, And it is funny. Like, And everyone should go watch it. Great date night. Great night that's in the right. couch. Netflix. It's out right now. Good fortune. Um. The, the idea of being each other's type. Yeah. When you talk about, you know, that your wife usually goes with a certain type of woman mm -hmm. and you, <laughs> you know, maybe present as that type of yeah. woman and then you're not. I, yeah, I like because that happens a lot where people, especially from the women that write in, they're like, not my type, but I'm going to give it a chance. Right. Like what? How do you is there a point where you're like that works into the relationship where you, you want to be their type or yeah. It, I mean, I think you think that I think you do have to give somebody a chance because you aren't necessarily what meets the eye. You know, mm. I feel like people are more nuanced than that. There's right. not like one type of person anymore. We come right. from so many different backgrounds, have so many different experiences that like, yeah, I might have like these broad shoulders and like to wear jeans and T-shirts, but I'm not the one that's wanting to kill the spiders. You know? Right. <laughs> I, I'm not that I'm not that girl. Yeah. Um, but I definitely like if you were to see me walk up, I get called sir a lot, you know, and uh but I'm I you know, moving my wrist around like uh <laughs> Well you talked about the Home Depot yeah. and it was like you getting approached at Home Depot and like you say in the in the you go someone comes up to you and goes, What's uh, hey dude Yeah, where are the nails? <laughs> and I really am like, I am here for cleaning products. Right. I don't know. I'm not that I'm cleaning, I'm not good at that either, but yeah, I'm rarely doing the the butch stuff. Well right? I think a lot of guys, you know, they're all type. Mm -hmm. right away like don't give the i i was thinking about this yesterday like because i i was i was on someone's instagram stories and they were talking about like you know should i give the guy another it was a woman asking yeah. a woman at should i give the guy another chance yeah and i kept thinking of it from my what i like hearing 
you know, I wasn't into you at first, and then on the 14th <laughs> date, you checked a lot of boxes. You like, might. Some people's if, personalities come through. If you felt like it was someone who was like, you know, out of my league, Maybe, I guess. Yeah, yeah you feel right. Like, that's why, I mean, isn't that why people like lie about their height and stuff mm-hmm. on the dating apps? Is because they're like, once I get in front of them. Yeah, once they hear my it's zingers, gonna be whole... they're not going to care that I'm 5'3". Right. <laughs> right. Or, or get hoodfish. Isn't that why people hoodfish? They hoodfish. I would say right. the hoodfish yeah. instead of catfish, like they live in a different neighborhood that you thought. Oh, gotcha. Right. They live in Hoboken. And you're like, yeah. ugh, I would have never. Right. Never going to go that far. No. Well, with guys, your type. Wow. Is it, I thought it was just like, oh, you, there's boobs. Great. That's that's pretty much so describes it. it. No. <laughs> like boobs, boobs. boobs. That's I, I actually say that on the first date. I, they get there and I go, boobs, sweet. Boobs. Yeah. We can work with this. Yeah. This is okay. <laughs> Halfway there, turn around, little twirlsy. Um, I, no, I, I guess like you know, I don't know. I I because I go on the apps and I'm very visual. Yes. Oh, imagine that. I got right. visual. <laughs> right. <I'll laughs> sit- I, you're the first guy I've <laughs> yeah. met like that. Exactly. So I'm like all these other idiots, and <laughs> we're sitting there like boobs, ass. Boobs. Okay, but like, and then you go, well, you know, the, I don't know, you, because you guys get asked their type a lot. Yeah. And I just, I, I, when I heard you talk about the special, and just like, I just thought it was so interesting, the idea of like, well, this is... It isn't my type, but it is. Like, right, we right. fell in love, you know, that type of thing. Yeah. And getting, I don't know if I could get well, even guys, on the first well, date. How did well, you guys, guys meet? Physical first, right? You go physical, right. and, then you, and then you think about the personality. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so then that has to evolve. Uh, we met at Gay Pride in Chicago. Oh, cool. Yeah. Okay. So we were not, obviously, either of us expecting to meet anyone significant at a Gay Pride. That's usually where people get hammered and. Have a good time for the weekend. We want to float? No, I wish. <laughs> what if, like, like, we were two floats. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Looking across. What? Hey, you're pretty. <laughs> yeah. Um, no, it, was the, it truly wasn't a parking lot. There was this. Uh, a parking lot of gay pride. This sounds, <laughs> this sounds like a Republican commercial. <laughs> <laughs> this is how they meet. They're in the parking lot. <laughs> like, Hide your parking lot. <laughs> um, yeah, we. The, well, it was like a party. They like, mm, okay. they, like parking commandeered party. a parking lot okay. to have a party. Uh, and had like bands and DJs and stuff, and I was going to uh, announce like one of the performers, um, and just was watching some of the entertainment. And she walked up with a friend. It's like really, truly one of those come coming out of nowhere moments that people say can happen, and I never thought in a million years would. And you live in LA, and where did she live? She at the was time? In, living in Chicago. Oh, yeah, wow. so we uh, we hit it off right away, and kind of knew there was something more there and ended up dating long distance for a whole year we get asked about long distance a lot what's the it's what's hard. the secret what what helped you in long distance oh man it's really hard we both at the end of the year were so tired because you're because <laughs> i'm traveling for stand up right. and she's a kindergarten teacher and so she was like leaving school at like you know 4 p.m on a friday and rush into the airport oh my either meeting me on the road or in la and then i would come there in between traveling for stand up and at the end of the year we both were just like depleted like loved each other and knew that this was something significant but so it's hard who did you how did you decide who was going to be like moving well i don't know i guess we kind of thought i was filming stuff at that point in la and there was a lot of stuff happening. Like my career was crazy and wild, and uh, it just—I don't remember how it came up, but it just was like came up, up that she would be the one that moved. Because I think because there's no filming in Chicago. There's like three okay. shows, and uh, Shameless was already taken. They had all their people, <laughs> like, like 17 members of the Chicago cast. Hope is yeah, over. Yeah. I couldn't be on the Chicago Hope. <laughs> Um, so it was called Dick like, Wolf and you're like, come on, <laughs> come get some on. ideas. Yeah. I got a pretty girl here in Chicago. <laughs> He's like, no. Uh, so yeah, she, we kind of had to make that decision, uh, because it was either like, it, it was weird. We were talking about last night. It was either we're going to move in together or break up because she had a, uh, you know, f- to go back to teaching, mm-hmm. she didn't want to leave mid school year. Right. So it'd be it's another big, whole year yeah. of till we figured it out so we kind of had to be like this is it we gotta decide now and she made the leap i think that's that's great i feel like that that's how you must have had in your in in your head when you 
when she did decide to move mm-hmm. out there that you were like, this is going to be like the one. This is going to be like something like super, I mean, that was super, the hope. super serious, that. Yeah. right? Because otherwise I feel like then you're like the asshole who has someone move their whole life I for thought, you. I right? thought that yeah. too. I think we both got yeah. really nervous, I think, driving out there and weren't really saying it to each other that we had these. Well, writing on this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, this is going to work out, right? And, uh, <laughs> you know, for me it was, I hope I haven't ruined this person's life. I hope everything's you know because you don't know how some you're gonna be when you live together right i know she's hoping like i hope i didn't just like leave my job and my friends for some a-hole you know and and so we both had all these fears and just weren't saying it and and then i think you know it come finally starts to come out that we have these things and then as soon as we got to our the house and settled in it just sort of was like okay we can do this okay what, and what, it felt pretty it, it felt good like right away That's so great. it yeah. was easy living yeah. together but yeah. and Especially but when you, i feel like if you move long distance with for someone you kind of know within like 10 days <laughs> yeah, <laughs> right. yeah a horrible idea yeah. Get out. Yeah. she's uh, all calling can i get my job back <laughs> well i you know i'm there's listen. We get these emails a lot like mm-hmm. a lot of the things you're talking about are yeah. things we get asked about you're yeah. living this situation is there, what's the hardest part about having someone move to you? Did she have friends there? Did she have a, no. like you have a group there, I'm sure. And yeah. especially because I visited LA, mm-hmm. LA more than New York. New York, you walk outside in the streets, you're yeah. a part of the madness. Mm-hmm. It never, it, the day kind of flies by. Yeah. I feel like when I go to LA, everyone has their pods, yeah. their groups. Yeah, yeah. Uh, they don't, they're very insular. It doesn't feel like you could meet someone new. It's got to be hard. To yeah. bring someone into that world. She definitely had the hardest transition uh, than me because my life was there. My right. friends were there. Uh, so she was the one taking all the risk. Right. A hundred percent. You know, she had to to give up a lot to come. Uh, and it wasn't easy. L.A., like you said, uh, it's so difficult to meet people. I had mm-hmm. a hard time moving there. I, I say everyone needs like two to three years. You're going to like kind of hate it at first. Mm. You're not going to really have friends. And it's lonely, and, and it really did work like that for her. It was a couple of years before it started feeling like home. Uh, luckily, she started making some good friends, but it took a while. Right. Um, and, and I know that was a tough transition for her. Now, luckily, she really likes L.A. a lot and has found her groove and stuff. But, yeah, I imagine that had to have been a really difficult decision for her. Right. Uh, Were there changes that you had to make? Not as many as her, you but know. To, for her, like, was there something where you're like, "All right, I gotta make sure I bring her. In. Like, let's have a welcome party with the friends. Let's, you know, like, let's play, like, you know, do some team building activities." I definitely had a trust fall as yeah. soon as she walked in the door. I was like, "I got you. Come right. on. Who's catching me? That's your new best friend." Do you feel guilty going out with your friend if she's, you yeah. know, sitting at home alone yeah, yeah. with no, you know, nothing yeah, you else had to figure on. out that yeah. dynamic too right. because. Especially when there are two women, you know, it's just different. It's not like we're gonna go have a boys' night and, and right. stuff like that. Um, so, you, so you're both uh, trying to figure out each other's world and and how you fit with each other now. And I don't know. I I wanted her to feel like, uh, because I, I had a house, but I wanted it to feel like she wasn't moving into my house. That like, right. no, this is gonna be our our house. And so, I uh, had pictures uh, printed out of her family and friends and put them all around the house oh, that's so nice. oh, that's nice. and uh, frames and that's stuff so, sweet. so that she walked in sweet. and like there's a picture of her grandparents and there's a picture of her mom and you know she's like why do you have a picture of my grandparents I right. like, <laughs> love been for 50 years <laughs> <laughs> i stare at this picture every night <laughs> i love your grandparents so much uh, they are pretty awesome. <laughs> but yeah, I, I just wanted her to come in to feeling something familiar. Oh, and, really uh, I'm trying to think if any guy would ever do that. That is like I the feel sweetest like would, thing. Is I'm definitely a, not. Right. I'm hearing this going, that is the sweetest thing I've ever <laughs> yeah. heard. And then I'm also going, I don't know. That's a good idea. Like I should write that down in case I meet someone that oh has to move I'm across country. I'm not always that thoughtful. So no, that's, that was that, pretty that, thoughtful. That's extremely thoughtful. I'll mention like one of my nieces now and Mike will be like, who? Right. <laughs> We've been married for, you know, I had a year. Right. That is hilarious. I had an artist <laughs> render what our child would look like. A combination of our two faces. Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah so I, I just wanted this. I just wanted to feel like home. I didn't right. of because I imagine that had to be, that has to be hard if you're like moving into someone else's space, feeling like right. oh I can't 
put my glass here. Uh, where's my where are my clothes gonna go? Oh, like, can I sit here? I got, you shouldn't feel like that when you're about to move into a yeah. place. So that I was like, that's the least I could do is try to make this house comfortable and feel like hers too. It sounds like uh, it works. Cause she was making all these, you know, sacrifices for me. Uh, but, that, but she's always been awesome like that. You know, with my career, she's so supportive. She's an executive producer on both specials. Oh, wow. oh, very that's involved cool. with both of them. Goes on the road a lot with me. That's and, amazing. Yeah. And so when you were going to propose, is that something you, like, discussed before? Or was this, like, a complete surprise? That I would put it in the special? <laughs> 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 you know this is going to be material, <laughs> right? Well, <laughs> um, that would, did I discuss proposing? Yeah. Um, you discussed you were going to get married. I think we, point. yeah, we knew yeah. we were headed towards that like okay. th- i don't i can't honestly remember if we had like a very like formal right con- wait no oh, i take that back we did look at diamonds okay so, <laughs> so then yes she was yes, aware right. i was like wait did we talk about it <laughs> yeah because th- i made the mistake of uh bringing her her mom and her friend and her to look at some diamonds uh these are for the yeah, frames for, of the yeah, pictures usually, of your family. Yeah, you usually gives really away. That. And, yeah. uh, and they, you know, brought out some, and they're like, "Oh, those are pretty. Those are pretty." And then they brought this one. They're like, "Whoa, that was so nice." And I was like, "Oh, now I gotta get this one." You know, you can't get the one. That yeah, now you can't be like, "What, what like, about oh, this that's one?" Cute. Right. You, know? you need. You gotta get the one where everyone's like, "Oh my god, that's yeah, the, the one." The showstopper. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so yeah, she knew it was coming, uh, but didn't know when. It was going to happen. And then once I got the ring, I don't like being responsible. I don't wear a lot of nice jewelry. Mm-hmm. Uh, and I don't like being responsible for nice pieces of jewelry. So just get I'm it like, out get it. I got to get it out of yeah. my hands. I so I was just antsy to like figure it out. So in the moment of that weekend in my head, I was like, I probably should abort this mission Mm-mm. and start over another time another weekend. Not like I'm not going to propose, but like, I don't know if this weekend's the right one because everything kept going wrong, but I just didn't want to keep being responsible for the ring. And in my head, I was like, you already planned to do this. I'll just have anxiety. Well, it sounds like it came out like, funny but very like you know thoughtful i think that's yeah. all i always think it's like that's what goes into that's what makes a good proposal is something that shows that you like know the person mm-hmm. you put thought on it i mean we've had people write in with very bad proposals <laughs> right and usually when the person's upset it's like you did something that shows yeah. that you don't even like really know mm-hmm. did you uh, even know me did, right. was, yeah. was this this could this have been an insert person right. here yeah exactly. well i'm not i say it in the special i am not the most romantic person uh, so that kind of stuff is hard for me to try to think of what to do. But that's why it's even better because it was romantic. So it's like when you, I think it's more romantic when you do something that's not in that's your not nature. Your thing, yeah. If you were the kind of person that was like writing her love songs and uh, yeah. you know, w- waking her up every well, day, a lot of love songs. Her, right? <laughs> like then this would be like, okay, she does that for everyone. That's yeah, not like right. so. It doesn't show I that do she write cares. love songs for everyone oh. in my life. Well, <laughs> oh, you do. Right. I'll send you my address. Uh, <laughs> yeah, you got one coming, I, I, bud. I better have something in the get mail. Get ready. I, yeah, yeah, get out that guitar. Uh huh. Um, do we want to play some games? Yeah, let's do it. So we play a game called Red Flag Deal Breaker. Yeah. It's pretty you know i'm sure you know it even by hearing the title you're gonna hear a scenario Mm -hmm. someone's going through something everything's going perfect is it a red flag you see it notice it but you keep in it or is it a deal breaker you break up right away all right let's see it and listen people if you're watching on youtube if you're listening right now go on netflix hit the fortune feimster special it's called good fortune put it on your queue get it on the Get it ready for the, you know, night, Sunday on the couch, yes, right. Friday night, staying in. It's a great special. Loved it. Thank Hilarious. You. Great for cuffing season. Uh, yeah, yes, perfect. it yes. is. And if you're going to propose, it'll tell you what <laughs> not to do. <laughs> All right, ready? Okay. Hey, J&J, love you guys. Love being a subscriber. Can't wait to hear your take on this one. Red Flag or Deal Breaker, he still has all his old relationship Instagrams up. Let me explain. A couple years ago, I was in grad school. My friend from home was setting me up with her friend from college. When I did my classic first Instagram deep dive, I noticed he had all his photos up from his past relationships, which had ended over a year prior. He posted pretty frequently, so it wasn't like they were the first thing in his feed, but they were all still there. On top of that, they they all still had their original captions. Happy birthday to the love of my life. Cheers to the... (laughs) Cheers to the best girl a guy could ask for. Thankful for her. And these aren't even close to the mushiest or longest captions. 
It even ended up working out with, it never ended up working out with us, but I wanted to hear your thoughts. I'm not sure what reminded me of this today, but I had to go back and check and see if they're still up and they are. So wow. red flag deal breaker. He's still got a bunch of couples pics with his ex on his page, confessing his love for her. What do you think? And did, and did she say she, that she still is with him or no? No, they, they never they didn't work. Uh, didn't work out. Never ended up working out with us. I see. I wonder if he still has pictures of, of them, of her too. Well, maybe they didn't even did, get that yeah, far. Did they, get right. that far? they didn't it's, get Instagram right, official. Right, right, right. They, <laughs> I think they, she didn't yeah. get a uh, hard she, launch. Yeah, love of she my was, life. Yeah. <laughs> I guess the other hashtag hashtag one was still number one. Love. Yeah. <laughs> What do you think? Oh, man. I mean, that would be... I can see, like, a couple slipping through the cracks because you're, like, you're busy. You know, how right. how much time do you have to go back and take everything down? But, like, a, a, a multitude of them is, is bizarre. I, I mean, think, you meet your wife. Do you yeah. go and immediately... Do you go to Instagram? Do you go do you oh, yeah. do some stalking? Everybody stalks right. the person they 100%. just met, right? You're at the Chicago... You know, you're at the Pride... <laughs> parade and yeah. then you get home you You're go like, what's your last name <laughs> right right <laughs> well, why do you want to know no reason here's yeah. my question though do you and i feel like women maybe more commonly stalk really far women back women are stalk really far going, back. Yeah, whereas yeah. i feel like you probably work, work for the, the cia 10 pictures <laughs> well here's what i don't think of and I, this is where i give this guy empathy i don't think of like the the cleanup job right. of the person that existed before i don't I, i've never had this situation where i go ah! and i run to instagram <laughs> yeah. and i archive i was about to say i don't think guys think about it like women do I was, like I in that. their head they're not like I met someone, I got to go to Instagram stat and get rid of pictures. Yeah. I don't think they think that far. The only thing in this scenario that I, makes me not on his side is like he's an active user. And uh -huh. like, because she says he's an act, uh, he posted pretty frequently. Right. But if you're posting frequently, you're like, oh, it goes down. My life right. keeps going down the scroll. Like it's not. Right. You're you're moving forward, not backwards. Right. right. Also, the ex could have been the one posting those. We don't right. know. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, I have like a multi, I don't know. I, I see it from both mm -hmm. sides. Because on the one hand, I'm like, okay, clearly it didn't end that badly that he's like purging every yeah. single thing that ever reminded right. him right. of this person. And he's angry because that would be like the worst case scenario. Mm -hmm. This is kind of like. Worst case, he's like still thinking they might get back together. Mm -hmm. And best case, um, I guess, best case, he just is oblivious. Right. He doesn't right? care at all. He, right. Yeah. Which can be a problem, too. Right. If he's not like, think doesn't think about things. He could be kind of that type of personality. Like, I never think about Man, things. that's way yeah. deeper than I would think. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm like no, but I, I agree with like maybe he just doesn't care trait. and no, yeah. nothing matters to him. Right. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. I mean, if nothing matters to him, then why is you know if he, the fact that he's saying to the love of my life, best girl like, I could ask for? That yeah. seems like you care at one point. Right. Mm -hmm. But or, or are you just like an actor on right. social? Are you one of those social media people? That's true. That is like right. The love, all the for, wonder, all for show. Right. Yeah. I, I don't know. I, I I would for me this wouldn't. I would see that, and I would. The only thing I would look at when I look back is like, do I look a lot like the last guy? That's the one thing, and I yeah. guess that's a narcissistic. <laughs> yeah, you definitely of me. check out. I, I mean, you definitely are curious about who they dated before, right. and you want to see the pictures, and you do a little comparison right. thing. But yeah, when I met when I would meet people when I met Jax, if I saw like an ex in a post, I wasn't like, oh, why is that still up? I was more like, huh, interesting. Like, right. Because you're kind of taking that person in and comparing yourself. Of course. I, yeah, yeah, I kind of have that. But I guess, the, and then you would think, I would think it's, I actually know someone that went through this, like a, a, from the guy perspective. And yeah. he, for her he, exes. For, right. for her exes. Okay. And he was like, looks like it got pretty, you know, yeah. the serious nature of what they were in. He was like, well, maybe they're not out of that yet uh -huh, maybe they're still the and that's the yeah. fear and then right and then it did end up coming up in their relationship and i and i remember he asked mm -hmm. me he was like what what do you think i was like mm -hmm. i would just mention like you got all these things up mm -hmm. what right. you know, it makes me feel this way and and it ended up getting taken away but it was it wasn't until later it wasn't like yeah oh i want to fix you up with this person then like oh okay mm -hmm. it, it it was like months in yeah yeah, I guess wonder because it's like a social media is so new relative to like history. Right. So is it going to be like if you didn't, let's say you were the kind of person who's like, it doesn't matter to me. I don't think about it. Your grandkids mm -hmm. are going to be like, 
you know, I assume they're going to see your social media posts at some point or oh, your, wow. kid, your kids. I didn't think right. that part. And they're going to be like, Mom, who's this guy? Right. Like, yeah. Who is the love of your life? Who is the actual love of your life? Yeah. She's, yeah. Like, she's like, I got around. Right. <laughs> Grandma. Yeah. Woman, Grandma yeah. had some fun. <laughs> I guess, yeah, I guess you, you, you didn't grow up with scrapbooks. Or many people, maybe someone had. Maybe their you'd mom find had... an old, an old picture in the yeah, back of someone's closet or something. The equivalent. Yeah. Old letters, and right? Stuff. Why, yeah. yeah. Why does this person say you're the love of their life? And this yeah. letter they yeah. wrote you, yeah. Yeah, because I think yeah, at some point you probably. I, I mean, if they had gotten more serious, she probably could have just been like, "You, you're gonna need to go to Instagram." <laughs> yeah, and do a, exactly. That's a what sweep. I. That's what I did. Well, he really <laughs> fucked himself. Like you, that's what you did. Yes. <laughs> I waited like two years and then I was like, all right, the pro the old profile pictures could go. Right. You know? <laughs> Let's yeah. have a spring that's, cleaning. That's enough. <laughs> Everybody should actually do a spring cleaning yeah. of multiple right? things. There's some I wore some really bad sweater vest yeah. Yeah. in my past and some Let's get to the very rid of the choice outfits. Those should also be wiped <laughs> off the internet. Hey, we're gonna do a cleaning. Your sweater vest, um, your old girlfriend on Instagram. Yeah. Uh, let's yeah, go just through name three and <laughs> let's make room in, for some new that. things. Well yeah. it's teaches you something for these captions you, right. you gotta yeah. be careful you can't be too too enthusiastic in these captions no yeah unless Same you're goes. like in it to win it and real serious but if you're in the early stages you shouldn't be pouring your heart out i oh, guess that's why out. so many women do like the this guy yeah as opposed to like <laughs> right. writing like because no one my... could be like well it wasn't that guy right <laughs> <laughs> just that guy love of my life is a very strong that's a, a strong thing to say that's a very strong yeah. thing to say yeah that's a. Uh, That's the reason I wouldn't date them. Is the cheers caption? to the love of my life. Uh -huh. The caption ma matters more to me than the picture. Like I, the caption is like, <laughs> oh, I'm date. I'm I'm gonna go out with this delusional idiot. Right. You know, like they didn't even think. You know, seems like you already found the love of your life. <laughs> right. Well, you, you know, at some point you do have to be secure though, because you know the the chance depending on how old you are, the chances are that some the person you're with was in a serious relationship right. at some sure. point. So they did speak like that to that person and had that kind of relationship. So it's not not true. It's just weird when you see it. You're like, oh, I, I didn't want to see that. But it doesn't right. mean it right. didn't exist. You kind of want to live but in an ignorant bliss. Yeah, you yeah. Do. exactly. You, yeah. you do, but then you meet those people that you're like, are you that Instagram? Are you that person? Mm -hmm. You know, like, this is the life I'm signing up for. Yeah. I'm going to be the most wonderful girlfriend in the world yeah. one day. You know, like... Here's what people should do is I think you should, if you break up with someone, you can go back and edit the caption right. to be like what the reality was. <laughs> you just put, this, right. this is a mediocre relationship. Yeah. Happy and birthday to, right. Right. <laughs> to this person. You'd be like, hey, look, I mean, it Here, wasn't that happy great. Happy birthday to a fine individual. <laughs> yes. what, your, what your new version right. of them is. Yeah. Yes. And it doesn't have to be mean. But, yeah. happy, happy birthday to my love of 2017 to 2019. Right. Yes. Mm -hmm. That, that would start so much drama. I'm just thinking, oh, really? You edited You're the right? caption. Like, edited why are these all edited? I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> I, so I guess I, I'm a red flag. What, what do I'm, we, a I'm a red flag. I'm a red flag, yeah. yeah. Okay. All right, let's do another one. All right. Red flag or deal breaker. They are 40 and they have semester at sea in the education <laughs> section on their hinge profile. Oh, okay. They are 40 years old. Yes. And on their hinge profile, they're saying they went to a semester at sea. They, that was part of their college experience. They added semester oh, at from, sea. So yeah. we're like digging what, like 18, 20, 20 years back. Yeah. Right. The highlight of their life. <laughs> well, I guess oh, for no. education. <laughs> well, that's the scary part. I didn't right? even yeah. know that was an option for education. <laughs> Well, my question is on Hinge, does it automatically pull from like your Facebook profile or no? No, you got to make a... Um, like if it's an active, if it just happens to show up because back in high school, yeah. they had a semester at sea and there is different than me being like, hmm, what am I trying to... How am right. I trying to attract people? It, it it doesn't pull. I agree. I agree like with if that. You it, just picked your headline and you didn't know. Like you right. filled out a form you, about yourself. Exactly. And it automatically was like, well, let's put this up. Let's highlight this thing, of, and you're like, right, oh, that God, was I your, didn't know that. Right, that I'm was your active choice. Right. I'm going to my profile to see. I've never been on Hinge. Um, what it is? Oh, mine says my elementary what? school. No, I. <laughs> Best years <laughs> of my life. <laughs> no, mine says I played high school football. Oh no, like <laughs> I'm a loser. So well, I know I I I do think you have to opt in to 
what you put as your education. Then that's weirder. Yeah. And it's weird. That is weird. Because yeah. you're, you get to, you're putting. This is the resume. This is what you wanted people to see. Mm -hmm. You're saying that 20 years ago, the greatest thing <laughs> ever happened that. to you, and it involves you being hammered on a cruise ship <laughs> while quote unquote learning. Yeah. <laughs> well, I guess it's something to talk about because you're looking yeah. to say like, I went abroad. I guess, I guess you're like you're trying to paint a profile because what bother I, I don't that would be considered going abroad. I, yeah. Going on a boat. <laughs> going on a carnival, carnival cruise. cruise for six months. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I ate buffet for six months. I had chicken fingies. I They would film that stuff for MTV back in the day. I remember. That's the only way I knew about it. I, th I don't think I, don't, I knew about that. I think they might oh, have yeah. done one season of Road Rules or, it was, or its own show. It was Real at World State? Semester at Sea. Real World Semester oh, wow. at Sea. Oh, I missed that yeah. one. I'm a big real world person, too. I, I it was, was too, and yeah. I think that was when it started going down. <laughs> that, that was, they're, they're like, like learning. To see this. <laughs> <laughs> I I remember that because my cousin I think did semester at sea. Oh wow! Okay. And I was like, that's the coolest thing. Like you know, yeah. you know, it's not a good idea when okay. thirteen year old you is like, that's the coolest thing in the world. Like, I don't, I don't cruise for six months. Oh my god! I'd be seven thousand pounds. Well, you seven. know, the, you know, they can commit, <laughs> right? Right. So right. They can commit in an uncomfortable situation. <laughs> right. <laughs> they yeah. don't care about toilets. And is anyone yeah. truly going to class? And then how do you escape your like the professors are also on board? Like, uh, in their bathing suits. You're running into each other on the Lido deck. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> I think sem uh, semester at sea red flag. If it said like their sorority or the fraternity, mm -hmm. I think I would be out. That would mm. be a different level of weird. Or like uh, regression, at, like being right. a sorority on the ship, or a separate thing. A separate thing, like like, like that's it said, the proudest thing that it, they have it. They in were there. part of that, like yeah. Chi Omega. I don't right. know. whatever it is. Yeah. <laughs> My greatest achievement is sorority uh, social chair. <laughs> <laughs> well, it makes you wonder if that, like, how how their life's going because yes. you're mm. like you should be proud of other things more current that was things. their peak see, see yeah. i separate it this way in your car if it's just a bullet point where like i went to penn state did a semester at sea i'm okay with that because it's mm -hmm. painting here's what my college like, was like education. i'm 40 it's education yeah. here's where i go off the cliff with this uh -huh. one when people write the riskiest thing i've ever done is move to australia for six months my junior year of college it's like yeah. Yeah, that's called college abroad. <laughs> that is not the you riskiest. Were a, you were in a program. Yeah. Right. And your parents, they housed you. You applied in Pennsylvania. And your parents paid. Yeah, and your yeah. parents paid. You had a credit card attached that didn't have your name on it. Now, let me ask you guys this. Would it be less of a red flag if the profile just said, I love cruises? Yes. That would yes. be less. less. You, Although I'm not like, a fan of cruises, yeah. but I do think it would be. That would be, be okay. I mean, at least it's more like. Like you like said before, you're not living thing. in like the past of right. your former glory of like those. Those are your yeah. best days. And it sounds like they're behind you. I, you that you do have to line up what you're into because some people hate cruises. It's like a adult to like Disney World. Right. There's right. A specific I come from person. a cruise family. You like okay. We used to go growing up. I do have this thing inside of me that wants to that thinks a great idea for a new couple is a is a they call them. Um. I think redirectional cruises. Redirection. I think this is oh, like finding like love couples therapy? within your. Well, yeah, is that couples therapy? No, 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 no. They. <laughs> this is so not. <laughs> it's We're when both they. Wrong. It's when they. You're <laughs> both wrong. It's Swingers. when they for the seasons they when they move the boats from the Northeast. Okay. Like there's cruise ships that are docked during the summer do routes around Nova Scotia. Okay. So then over from when they go from. Uh, summer to winter uh -huh. the boat has to go from new york down to miami okay so there's something called i think a redirectional repositioning, repositioning cruise okay. <laughs> and what they do is they go you can get on the cruise for like three hundred dollars okay because they have to get the boat down there anyways but anyway. you're not gonna see right. anything cool you'll go to one island yeah, but you're gonna do pass, a lot of days at you'll sea you'll wave at virginia okay. beach right 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 <laughs> you're gonna help think, serve the crew I, yeah, you, yeah you gotta clean the boat <laughs> yeah. you're gonna have to mop the deck swab the deck but, but all i do you can think eat, baby right all you can eat you got the pool but i think it's a good idea for like if you're a new couple like six months in and you're sitting here in new york and it's like february you're like you want to do something different 
wouldn't that be a fun adventure? That's more of an adventure than going abroad to Australia, in my opinion. I don't know. Yeah, I always have this. That does not sound fun to me. <laughs> no. <laughs> that sounds terrible. And Especially me, you're new in dating. If it doesn't work out, you're Annel, on this re- redirectional Myrtle, Annel, cruise. Myrtle Beach. No. <laughs> okay. I'm glad I ran this by some women because. <laughs> don't yeah, don't yeah. ever. Oh, big idea. No, don't ever oh offer that up. Happy this... anniversary. I got us a $60 you... <laughs> ticket on the redirectional cruise. I definitely cruise don't put where... that in your profile. Oh, no. I got to change the profile. <laughs> yeah. This was my version Red of printing flags. out the grandparents. It sounds like something sem- someone who went to semester at Sea would suggest. Right. <laughs> Is this about me? <laughs> Relive the glory yeah, days. Did you do this on your profile? Thing? <laughs> I thought this was the sweetest idea ever. No, you guys were like, this it's is a garbage. It's a terrible idea. <laughs> if you're going to go on a cruise ship, at least go to like the Caribbean. I, I don't know. St. Like, John's. You, know, you took a flyer. Yeah, a great way to find out just how cheap the guy is. Yeah. Right. It's like, it's like taking a, It's like going on a cruise because you got a Groupon. Yeah. You don't know. It's not it really is a anything. version of that. I, yeah. All right, let's do one more. All right, red flag deal breaker. When you get in a flight, they say, in a well, fight, fight. oh, get in a fight. Sorry. Red flag deal breaker. When you get in a fight, they say, well, my mom agrees with me as part of their argument. Oh. <laughs> That can't be good, right? What's the dynamic in a lesbian relationship between the moms? <laughs> between the mom and the and the the, the cross lady. mom. Oh, the, the mom, daughter the, in law. The, the, the daughter in law. Yeah, our moms. Yeah. Um, I mean, I think it's probably similar to a heterosexual couples. Is it? I I don't know. Like, everybody's sizing each other up, right? You're like, are you good enough for my right my child yeah. probably is what parents are thinking at first i was just thinking like mothers and sons are like this weird kind of relationship yeah and it, sometimes sure. it's like the, you know the, the the girlfriend is like trying to break into this weird mother son thing that and might be going on or yeah. with the dependency issues the my mom has that with me I'm oh really sure. yeah that because that i was like her plus one forever oh really <laughs> <laughs> that's, a, that's a scary so, thing. That's, that's a scary that thing. That's on my Hinge profile if I had one. My mom's my plus one. It's just a deal breaker. <laughs> Good luck getting into this wedding. Um, well, my mom, my parents uh, divorced when I was young. Mm. So I somehow kind of took on this role as I got older of sort of being the person with my, my mom that would go to things. We like went on a cruise together. We went on a really? cruise together, <laughs> which I would never put on the profile. Mother, mother daughter cruise. <laughs> yes. Uh, so I think that, that, that we had that similar dynamic of when I finally met, you know, that like she knew this is the one there's a little like, well, who, what is this? What's happening? You know, kind really? of, and I think, uh, moms are like that with sons. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. I don't know. I was they a... t- like my baby, you're taking, my baby that kind of thing right yeah and then it becomes like a power struggle a yeah. little bit sometimes exactly um yeah. well have you ever had this happen in an argument uh i would never in a million years say i or at least god i hope i've never said this <laughs> 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 my wife is probably like i'm racking her brain right now uh thinking i don't think I've ever said that. Mm. Well, I feel like I hope I've never said that. I feel like that's a great way to get your partner to hate your mom. Yeah, exactly. Right. It would not help things at all. Because I mean, the the thing is, is that once you're in this relationship, y'all are that's the thing. This is the this is the right. thing. You are trying to like, uh, you know, uh, I'm a I'm an appeaser. I try to please my mom, but mm. I can't I can't appease my mom over my wife. You know. Mm-hmm. It'd be even Wait, worse. Uh, even if, they... if even if she's listening right now. Don't tell my mom this. <laughs> Please, God, no one tell my mom about this. She's gonna uninvite you to the cruise next month. It'd be much worse if they said mommy instead of mom. My mommy. Well, my mommy agrees with me. I have to say, I've had the urge to do this, but uh, my therapist. My therapist. Oh, really? you know, <laughs> I've discussed this with my therapist, and here's what. That's the most annoying thing you can do. I think I've probably done it. You have done it. Um, yeah, it's probably yeah. it's probably one of the worst, one of the most annoying Ooh. things you can do. I would be like, get him on the phone, <laughs> get the therapist on the phone. I'd be like, great, right. get down for couples therapy. I want to hear how the, so- how much they yeah. agree with you. Yeah. But rarely is my mom right, so I'm pretty sure. It's <laughs> actually a bad sign. I'm yeah. pretty sure right. I've never yeah. said that because I probably agreed that my my mom wasn't right about whatever it was. Right. Mm. No, like, you know what? I think I said my therapist agrees me in a fight with my my sibling. Oh. And then they were like, well, mom's therapist thinks she's normal. 
So <laughs> <laughs> that just goes to show you how much uh, that means. It's like you're. It's like they had this like gun hidden in their sock that you didn't know about. They've been waiting to use that line their whole lives. <laughs> Have you said it? I, I don't think I've ever said this. Well, my mom agrees with me. Yeah. I, I, I think I know well enough. I don't know well enough not to go on a repositional cruise. Yeah. But I, I do. This is one of those where I would. I think when you hear yourself say something like that, you go. Right. You have to. Ooh, Ooh. <laughs> I'm that guy. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Well, because at this point, your mom's opinion can't be the end all be all. You're an adult. Well, you know? I think polling anybody in a fight it's over. Like, mm. you know, when you go, well, so-and-so thought, you're like, you feel a little like the relationship is naked. Right. Like, yeah. I'd be annoyed that they even went to the to the group chat, to the, yeah. you know, oh, my friend think you're crazy for doing this. Like, yeah. what? Right. Well, well, it's like you said, then you're, pull, you're, you're making your partner not like that person. Yeah. What, that doesn't do anything good for that, for their relationship. Right. So that would be yeah, not smart to, to do. Yeah, because you want, everybody to to be cool mm -hmm. yeah um i yeah i agree i think it's it's definitely a bad move if you can get away with uh if not saying that <laughs> even though i think you probably have the urge to or I, it's even better i think if you if you just you think it's better or worse if instead of saying my mom agrees with me instead you say my mom thinks we should do it like that so maybe mm. we should do it like that that's almost I, like I feel like the more realistic version uh -huh. of like my mom doesn't think we should live here. <laughs> my mom doesn't think you know. <laughs> Good. I, 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 you know? I, I I would still be like, what well, she's not living here. What yeah, the fuck like does she have to do with this? Her, right. I, I like, feel like what we do now is like, well, people. You know, like okay. well, people would agree with me. Uh -huh. That sometimes happens. Or like ask anybody. Ask yeah, right. Yeah. Ask, I'm right. Ask anybody. You go tell people this is your opinion. <laughs> That's right. what I do. And I do the hands. <laughs> Double <laughs> Ask anybody. <laughs> we'll Google it. Right. Um yeah. Listen, this was so this was fantastic. Great. Fortune, thank awesome. you so much for coming on. Oh, this my was pleasure. So great. Thank we, you all for having me. This was awesome. Awesome. I, I like talking about people's relationship problems. Yeah, it's well, not our problem. You're yeah. welcome back anytime. I think we had all, all red flags. Were they all red flags today? Or I think the mom agrees with me. I would be, that would that'd be, be a deal breaker. pretty close to deal breaker. I think if it happened once, um, they would just be like berated. But right. if it happens frequently, <laughs> if this uh, was their thing, yes, yeah, so if it yeah. was their thing, like, I'm gonna emasculate like, right. you well, right now <laughs> so you never say that again. <laughs> gotta cut it off immediately, right? Cut it off you know, the from everyone they know and love, <laughs> right. and then you have to isolate them from <laughs> everyone they've ever cared about, yeah. Then you're fine. Exactly. Then, you're good. then it, you can make it work. That's a healthy relationship. That's how, we, Forge, that's what we do here. We right. create healthy spaces helping for people. people. Yeah. I love it. Wow, well, I'm solved, glad I got to be a part of it. Right. We solve dating every week. We want everyone to go watch Fortune Special. Go right now. Yeah. Put it in your queue. It's called Good Fortune. Fortune also has another special, Sweet and Salty. It's yeah. out there on Netflix. So you're yeah. you're all over the place. So you got plenty of content out there. That's right. And a brand new tour, Live, Laugh, Love tour. Going on tour. Where are you going first? Uh, gosh, uh, Texas, oh, wow. I believe. I'm, I'm going to a ton of places starting in late January. And then we're going to add a bunch more dates too. So. Love and it. where can they find the tour dates? Uh, Fortunefeemster.com. Go for it. Go follow Fortune on all social media. Fortune Feemster. Good Fortune on Netflix right now. Jordana, uh, we solved dating again. We did yeah. it. You guys did it. Proud of us. Oh. You helped. I'm going to go call my mom. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. The You Up podcast is produced by Sean Kilby, Maddie Paul, and Jorge Morales Pico. Editing by Jorge Morales Pico. Social media by Maddie Paul. Be sure to follow at you.up.podcast on Instagram and send us your emails to uup at betches.com. 